In this tutorial we're going to explore how to switch on the spotlight mode and what that looks like. So to start with we're going to explore where the tool is. You'll see that it is not in the standard toolbar nor can it be added to the standard toolbar. If you right click on your toolbar you will find a list of other things that you can add but you'll note that the spotlight tool is not one of them. So where do we find it? It's actually designed to be in your floating toolbar. If the floating toolbar isn't coming up automatically, then you need to change some settings. The first way to do that is to have a look down in your start bar by the clock, and you should find that you have a smart tools icon, which I don't seem to have. So if it's not there, you type in smart. In your system tray, you should find a smart tools icon. It's a little blue box with white circles. The red cross here indicates that I'm not currently connected to a smart board, um, but that's not, not of concern at the moment. If you right click on that, you'll see a whole heap of extra tools that come with smart notebook. If you click on other smart tools, you'll see the option to include the, sm the spotlight. You'll also see that the toolbar, the floating tools has appeared. If that's currently hidden, from here I can click show floating tools. So from that one menu we've got two options. We can right click other smart tools and turn on the spotlight as so. Or we can turn on our floating toolbar and make sure that the spotlight tool is on that. Now to add the spotlight tool to the floating toolbar you click the cog and you just pick it up and drag it and drop it. And to remove them you do the same thing. OK, so I can turn my Spotlight tool on now. Now what the Spotlight tool does is it turns the whole screen black apart from one area which it uses a transparency for. Um, you can pick up the Spotlight and move it by clicking on the black part of the page. If you want to resize it, you click on the edge of the blue line and you'll see that you can in fact resize the Spotlight. When you click on the down arrow next to the image of the spotlight, you'll see that you can in, uh, in fact adjust the transparency. So if you wish the students to still see the content, but you just want to draw attention to one particular area, then a 50% transparency can be quite useful. Or you can go as far as just having a sort of really 90% transparency where you're literally just making it a little bit lighter where you're looking. Not transparent at all will bring you back to this black. You can also change the shape of your of your spotlight to a rectangle or a star. And all of these are resizable, as you can see, and move around in the same way. To exit the spotlight, you just click on the drop down arrow and choose exit. There is another way in which you can use the spotlight tool or another way in which you can bring up the spotlight tool. And that involves this tool here, which is called the magic pen. If the magic pen is not currently on your toolbar, then remember all you have to do is right click anywhere that where there's an empty space, usually at the end, and then just pick it up and drag it and drop it onto your toolbar and hit done. The magic pen is a bit different to an ordinary pen. It still has all the same properties for inks and sizes, etc., which can be found in the properties tab. But as you can tell, it doesn't actually stay quite so permanently. As I'm talking, that ink will disappear, it will fade away. So it's quite useful when you want to just temporarily draw attention to a particular part of the screen. What it also does is if we draw a circle somewhere on the page with that magic ink, um, it will then turn that circle into a spotlight. You can see the transparency is not as dark as the main spotlight found in the floating tools, nor is there any option to change the shape um, or the size of that spotlight. But for a very quick on the fly way of drawing attention to objects, the magic pen does allow you to um, you know, get some access to the spotlight quickly. The other thing that the magic pen does, which is quite handy, is if I draw a square, instead it will zoom in on a particular section. And by holding my left finger down on the board and dragging, I can continue to zoom into that picture. Obviously, the 
resolution of that image will, will uh, affect how well you can see things. And again, to get rid of anything, I can just hit the cross. So that's the magic pen, which has ink, which fades, will allow you to switch on a spotlight by drawing a circle, and will zoom in on elements of a page by drawing a square or rectangle.